MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Chicago Cubs. Standing in, Starling Marte. He will lead this one off today. The 1 1 home. There's a fastball taken high for a ball. Count is two and one. Hit hard back up the middle. A dive by Baez. He's out. So one away here with the bases empty and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. The one one. Grounded to short. There's Baez. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the infielder Cattell Marte. And the pitch on two and one. Two balls and two strikes now. He was absolutely all over that fastball. Have to find a way to keep that fair. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Here's Javier Baez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. The 1-1. One -one. This one's down to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And there are two away now. So in now for Chicago, Chris Bryant. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. New inning set to get underway. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. David Peralta. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take. And it's to two and one now. Three and one to the Diamondbacks left fielder. And to his motion, here comes the three and one. Hot shot down the line. But a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Fouled off. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. So here's Eduardo Escobar in past meetings with Jose Quintana. He's got eight hits in 31 tries. Two of those hits were for home runs. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Up next for Arizona, Carson That's Kelly great. is ready for his it's first it. at bat of this early season contest. Kelly. 
towards second. There's one. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Now the 2 1 pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that's the first down. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, the left handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Now the 2 1 pitch. And the cutter can't find the zone as he surrenders the base on balls here. Stepping into the box, Kyle Schwarber. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. In now, Steven Souza. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. 1 1. There's a sinker that misses for a ball. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Marte is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Two men on, two out. And in the bat next is Albert Almora. Bottom of the second here with no score. Boy, not close again. His third walk of the inning as that misses for ball four. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone. And up next, the pitcher, Jose Quintana. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. You put yourself in this situation, you got to get yourself out of it. You got the pitcher at the plate, 2 0 count. You got to take your chances and throw something middle of the plate. Even count two balls and two strikes. Two and two. Here it is. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Stepping in, Christian Walker. Seven, eight, nine. Bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Now the three and two pitch. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Back on it is the left fielder. Still going back. Gone to lead off the inning. Standing in now, Ildemaro Vargas. It swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Souza is over to his left as he snags this one for the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Alex Young. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Another try at 2 2. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it 2 and 2. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. And he fouls this one off. Payoff pitch one more time. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. 
Starling. Digging in for his second at bat. Marte. Starling Marte. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. One and one, here it is. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. To second for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Now batter. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Liner towards second. But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Back to the top of the order now. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. The 1-1. One, one. This is in the air out to right field. Marte on the move. He's there and records the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. Count is one and two now. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now the payoff pitch home. He's at the knees and called strike three. So two are gone now in the Cubs oh, half of the third. Oh, and that'll three, bring three. up Chris Bryant. Oh, yeah. Outside two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. At the plate, Cattell Marte. The 1-1 one, one home. Nope. Two one. Three and one now as that misses down and in. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll get on by into center field for a leadoff single. Into the box, David Peralta. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Line shot to third base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Eduardo Escobar standing in comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Modi backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Standing in, Carson Kelly. The catcher. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. I know he stole a strike right there, but he better be careful with that curveball. That's coming across and catching a lot of plate. And if he's got him looking, and that'll do it, the inning is over. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. A 
A strike to Contreras, and it's one and one. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Racing back the center fielder into the bleachers and gone. So now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. And there's ball two now. Strike, two called, and it's even a two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Full count, three and two. Kyle Schwarber will be next. Line shot to first, and there's one away. The next hub up, Kyle Schwarber, reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. The three and one pitch. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. The right fielder, number 21. Steven Souza Jr. In now, Steven Souza. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the run is in to score from second. The center fielder, number five, Albert. 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 At the plate now, Albert Almora. Almora with an even count, two and two. This pitch is popped up. Walker calls for it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. And now the Cubs pitcher, Jose Quintana, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch-outs will stick with you a little longer. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. top of the fifth digging in to try it again Christian Walker he got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one yeah now that, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot but listen a home run is a home run I know a lot of pitchers they call that a wall scraper in its last AB but listen it counts as a home run nonetheless the count now at two and two and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone the batter number 15 into the box now, Hildemaro Vargas. He flew out in his last at bat. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And he misses again, ball three. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. High and deep down the left field line. And no one will get this one. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. This is popped up. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. Digging in, Alex Young. He drew a base on balls his first time up. 1-1 one, one. is taken for ball two. Two out, nobody on. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. 
And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. And that brings up Javi Baez as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Liner in there for a base hit. It's a look over to first and the runner back. Stepping in now, David Bodie. Line to the right side, but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Ridley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year. And he's in the second safely with the stolen base. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ready for another shot now. Wilson Contreras comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here's the 1 1. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. No hits for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first down. So striding in, Nick Ahmed hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth, and that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. The one-two is low and outside for a ball. Swing and a line drive. And that'll get down for a two out single. Now back. The left fielder. To the plate now, David Peralta. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder coming in. He's got it as the time run is left on base. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. Yank fouled off to the right. Here's the one and two delivery. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Ball three. Three and two now. He pulls this one into right. Marte is there, and he'll bring this one in. Mike Leak enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Steven Souza will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Here's the 1 1. 
Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Leak has proven to be a guy that throws strikes coming out of the pen and doesn't walk a lot of batters. Boy, every manager and pitching coach, Matty D, they love to bring a guy in that they know one thing. He's going to throw strikes and not beat himself, and this guy is certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. Runners on first with one down. Still two and two. Another one sent foul. Ready with the two and two. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. And now here's the versatile outfielder Albert Almora Jr. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like he got fooled a little bit. A little bit out front, ended up popping out. Expect him to be a little bit more leery of the breaking pitch to save The pitcher, Quintana. Into the box now, Jose Quintana. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Fouled away. Rizzo at second. Almora on at first with two down. Count remains two and two. Looking to keep this a one run game. The pitch. This one's blooped out toward right center field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's now three to one. At the plate, Javier Baez nipped the corner. Two and two. Line to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. The batter, number 13. Second base baby. So David. now to the plate, David Bodie. High and deep to left center field. Gone! It's a grand slam! Merrill Kelly gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Standing in now, Chris Bryant. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Sliced hard on the ground. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Trevor McGill will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Digging in the switch hitter, Eduardo Escobar. No hits to this point. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Fouled off. Outside and a full count, three and two. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Popped him up. Rizzo in foul ground. And that's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seven-minute stretch. 
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in, Wilson Contreras. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. Full count now. Three and two. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Digging in, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Here's the 2 1 home. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The second for one. On to Rizzo, but a little slow in developing as they'll just get the one out. Digging in, Kyle Schwarber. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another payoff pitch. Inside, he misses ball four. Now at the plate, Steven Souza. He's working on a one for three thus far. Chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. And there's out number two. Into the box now, Albert Elmore. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. Maybe sit off speed. Count even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. He's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. The 2-1 home. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. Bryant is over and he puts it away for the first down. Stephen Vogt will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And he fouls this one off. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Here's Starling Marte. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ah, oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Goes down and gets it as this is bounced to short. Baez has it. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. The bag, so it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. Yeah. And stepping Ahmed. in is the veteran shortstop, Nick Ahmed. The 3 1. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. In now, Cattell Marte. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Now another 2-2. Two -two. 
ground ball sent back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Up next to the diamond back, the left fielder. David. To the plate now, David Peralta. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Kevin Ginkle is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Jason Hayward is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. And this is swung on and missed, and Hayward is gone on strikes, and there's one away. So the lineup floats over and digging in Javier Baez. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Ginkle playing here in his age 26 season. He was taken in the 22nd round back in the 2016 first year play. One out nobody on. Great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Into the box, David Bodie. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hey, the difference in this one, they lead by four. Go back to this guy's previous AB, a towering grand slam that knocked in four runs. Slow little grounder left side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Rowan Wick comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 15. All set to start the ninth in this one. At the plate, Eduardo Escobar. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. One one home waves and misses for strike number two when I broke into the league not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it the game has changed now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two good job going down and hanging with it that time. Another 2-2 offering. Fouled away. Fouled off. The 2-2 one more time. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Into the basket and it's gone. <laughs> Stepping in now, Carson Kelly. Two and one. Wick, a right hander standing six foot three. He was a ninth round pick during the first year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. The 2-2. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now with the plate, Christian Walker. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Walker. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Ball even at two and two. 
And the pitch. Back up the middle. That gets through, and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. Dan Winkler takes the ball now in inning number nine, oh, looking to close the door. The second base. Bill Gamaro. At the plate, Ildemaro Vargas popped him up. Contreras over to his left to gone. Domingo Leyva will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Domingo Leyva. This is flared out towards second. Oh, behind the back. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. 7-4 the final finish today. The Chicago Cubs took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Jose Quintana earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Seven runs, eight hits, one error. They left seven men on base. For the Diamondbacks, four runs, seven hits, no error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 32 minutes. Our paid attendance at Wrigley Field this afternoon, 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cup baseball and remind you to please drive home safely.